If you don't believe police are sometimes hiding the use of their technology during criminal investigations, check out this email from a Florida sergeant. In this email, this Florida sergeant was asking other officers from a different department to not reveal how they were obtaining evidence during an investigation by using a cell site simulator tool similar to the exact technology I spoke about a few weeks ago known as Stingray technology. The email specifically said to only mention they obtained the evidence from a confidential source and not through the high-tech tool that they were using. Why? Because the police wanted to protect the identity of this technology so that courts would not learn about it so they could continue to use it unchecked. In fact, William Soricus, a former supervisor of the Marshal Service, he said that his deputies are not supposed to hide or lie when it comes to the use of high-tech tools, but they are encouraged and told not to tell anyone that they're using this technology so that they can keep it somewhat secret for future criminal investigations. Now look, this technology is not all bad. In fact, when it's used appropriately, first responders can use it to much quicker find someone that may be in a building and they're in distress so that they can locate that body. It can also be used to help free people from a hostage situation. It also has wonderful applications for firefighters looking to try to find a body in a burning building, and it can be used in multiple ways to save lives. But as always, the problem is never the technology. It's always how people choose to use it. In fact, that is exactly why federal, state, and local authorities should be required to disclose they are using this advanced technology. Whenever they're seeking to obtain a search warrant, they need to put that in their search warrant affidavit, and they should put this in their police report so that they can be held accountable to determine if there are any Fourth Amendment violations when they use them. By doing this, it will help ensure that this technology can be challenged in court and maybe now force the United States Supreme Court to rule whether the use of this technology is a Fourth Amendment violation so that way police cannot just continue to use new technology unchecked for years until they get caught.